Hey, afternoon. Uh, what have you made of uh, you know the the events that have unfolded? The market has recovered quite a bit, but um, at this point, would you still be a bit cautious, or is it time to pump in fresh money? That's a good. That's a good question, Sonia. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I think the fact is that uh, we've spoken to over 100 investors since uh, this morning, both foreign and domestic investors, and most of them concur that this is a great move, uh, you know, completely selfless and no conflicts of interest whatsoever by the Prime Minister. And if anybody could do it, it would be Narendra Modi who could pull off such a massive scheme. But the reality is that I think there will be short-term uh, pain for the next few quarters. Because the fact of the matter is, and really this is, this is really uh, uh, the big question people are asking, that of the uh, 17,000, roughly 17,000 crores of currency under circulation, uh, 2,000 crores I think is well accounted for because it's 100 rupees, uh, 100 rupee denominations and below. But the balance 15,000 crores really is the big question. And how much of that will actually translate and result in deposits into the banking system and how much will basically just you know, be uh, useless or effectively bonfire. So I think that's the big swing factor. And uh, in some sense, you know, when, when I, this is again my personal view, in some sense, maybe this event or this uh, move by the government or by specifically by the prime minister could have been timed along with a VDIS scheme. So had they done that, uh, I think the declaration, the VDIS scheme would have been many fold compared to what we eventually ended up uh, netting, which is about 65,000 crores. So had the two been clubbed, people would have been incentivized to actually declare more on the VDIS simply because uh, you know, there would be no other alternative uh, or the money basically becomes you know, useless. So I think that's something which the government for, I guess, in its wisdom did not do. But I think the, the writing was on the wall that something major was, uh, was going to come. Okay. Gautam, good afternoon. I'll, I'll just come to you in a bit, uh, but before that, I wanted to get uh, the BTSC call out of the way. Mitesh, uh, we didn't address your calls. Uh, what are the stocks you're buying or selling? Mitesh, uh, can you hear me? Okay, I think uh, we lost that link. We'll uh, repatch. Uh, the bank nifty is in the green again. Uh, Gautam, uh, good afternoon again. Uh, so, you know, what's the big call on this market now? Uh, do you get a sense that it's now absorbed all the bad news and is now ready to move on, uh, especially from the global point of view? We've had Brexit and we've had uh, Trump victory. Uh, do you think this market is now ready to move on? You know, honestly, I think it's too early to, to, to comment on that. And I, I know the markets had a big rebound from, from the low of the day. But frankly, we are not, uh, you know, today, in a, you know, in a, you know, we're not recommending buying the market at this point. Because there's way too much uncertainty about the absolute cash under circulation and how that's going to impact overall consumption, how it's going to impact real estate, how it's going to uh, impact, uh, it, it, as a result, cement. Uh, as a result, uh, the lap portfolio of a lot of NBFCs. So I think there are too many unanswered questions. Uh, there's really no clarity at this point of how big a hit will overall consumption in the economy take. And if that indeed happens, uh, of course, there are multiple effects of that as well. Deflationary uh, uh, interest rates coming down, which will be a longer term positive. But I think earnings and uh, the top line of, of companies will uh, clearly be impacted. And hence, I think you know it, it's really early days. Uh, we haven't been able to fully comprehend what the overall impact of this will be, sim simply because I think uh, people don't have a handle on what's the uh, quantum of, of, of money that uh, will eventually not make it back in the banking system and obviously will have to be extinguished, uh, you know, will be useless, basically. The sector of the day uh, undoubtedly is the pharma uh, space, Gautam. Would you buy any pharma stocks now? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's a very difficult question and very, very stock specific. So, you know, at one hand, you have uh, Dr. Reddy's and, and Sun Pharma, which clearly are under investigation by the DOJ. So, we really don't have clarity on, you know, how that's going to pan out, what's going to be the eventual uh, penalty. But the fact is, is pharma starting to look attractive? The answer is clearly yes. Um, but beyond that, I think it's it's little early days. And I think, frankly, as I said at, at the beginning. Uh, buying into the market right now uh, is, is a very difficult uh, uh, question to answer. Okay, Gautam, we'll leave it at that. Thanks a lot uh, for your time today. That's